The right of the people to form citizen militias was unquestioned by the founders. Alexander Hamilton, in the Federalist Papers number 28, expressed, When a government betrays the people by amassing too much power and becoming tyrannical, the people have no choice but to exercise their original right of self-defense, to fight the government. In the Federalist Papers number 46, James Madison, the father of the Bill of Rights, argues, the ultimate authority resides in the people and that if the federal government got too powerful and overstepped its authority then the people would develop plans of resistance and resort to arms some interpret today's national guard as the well-regulated militia but the founders opposed anything but a small national military There are some people that think that that phrase in the Second Amendment has an entirely different meaning. The phrase, well-regulated, refers to a well-trained, prepared, and disciplined citizen's militia. They seem to think that it means just the state National Guard, and they don't know their history. That's just not true. The phrase was in common use in 1791, and for more than a century afterwards. The Oxford English Dictionary from that time period defines well-regulated as something that was calibrated correctly, functioning as expected. Fact number four. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people, Further evidence that a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state does not refer to the National Guard is supported by recent research. The writing style of the late 18th century legal documents typically began with a preamble. The purpose of the preamble was to state a purpose, not a limitation. New Hampshire's Constitution, written in 1784, begins with a preamble. The liberty of the press is essential to the security of freedom in a state. It ought therefore to be inviolably preserved. The Constitution has a preamble. We the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic trade. The Bill of Rights has a preamble. The conventions of a number of the states, having at the time of their adopting the Constitution, expressed a desire in order to prevent misconstruction or abuse of its powers that further declaratory and restrictive clauses should be added. Since a preamble states a purpose, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people... The well-regulated militia only reinforces the importance of the individual right to keep and carry arms. The Second Amendment, when it really comes down to it, I believe it has two primary meanings. One is the obvious ability for me to be able to protect myself and my family from bad guys. But there's another meaning that the founders put in place that I think is, is absolutely vital to our way of life in this country. It's the ability for all of us out here to be able to protect ourselves from a government that could become tyrannical. Fact number five. Before the war between the states, some states enacted laws that made it illegal for slaves and freed African Americans to possess firearms. In the infamous Dred Scott case, the Supreme Court ruled in 1857 that people of African ancestry could not claim U.S. citizenship, essentially taking away the right of African Americans to own a gun. In truth, armed slaves would be able to retaliate against their owners. Ironically, even though the framers of the Second Amendment feared becoming slaves to their government, some were tragically willing to permit slavery. 
Now that slavery is abolished, all citizens of all races should enjoy the Second Amendment's legal protection. Fact number six. Over the past 60 years, the interpretation of the term well-regulated militia has come under fire from the Federal Circuit Courts of Appeal and many lower court judges. Those judges have wrongly ruled that the right to keep and bear arms doesn't apply to individuals, but have wrongly interpreted militia to mean the National Guard. But the words well-regulated militia had a far different meaning at the time the Second Amendment was written. In today's world, well-regulated is associated with intense government regulation. At the time the Second Amendment was drafted, the term didn't need to be defined. Colonial militias had been in existence for 150 years. With the exception of millers, ferrymen and slaves, every adult male was required to join. It was your duty to report for service four to six times a year. You were required to have your own musket, bayonet, ammunition, and knapsack. If you were unable to supply your own firearm, the militia would provide you with one. Militias were well organized, well regulated, with the men reporting to an appointed captain. Not only did you have the right to own a firearm, it was your duty 